Welcome back. A study released this week discovered that the country needs to hire at least 2 million more health care workers by 2025 just to take care of the country's aging baby boomers. And tomorrow marks the beginning of National Nurses Week. It's a time to appreciate some of the most utilized health professionals out there and probably most uh, unrecognized. If you are thinking about that you want to follow down this career path, then it's one job to consider. We're going to talk to a nurse practitioner. So here to join me is to about a little more about what the role they play is Amy Papermaster. Mm -hmm. That's a very easy name. Thank I you. like it. <laughs> She's a board certified family nurse practitioner. Good morning, Amy. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Let's talk about this shortage because um, we, as we just mentioned, by 2025, two million more. Uh, and finding nurse pra nurses, period, is one thing. You know, nurse practitioners are included in that group. But um, you said you've noticed. You've noticed a shortage. Yes, there has been a pretty phenomenal notice there. And I think that nurse practitioners are going to be a great way to fill this gap. And um, when we already are starting to do that, you can see the trend over the last decade even that nurse practitioners are starting to take more on um, in that role as a provider and are able to provide quality and affordable care for mm -hmm. patients. Now what is a nurse practitioner? Because the first thing people may hear is nurse. Yeah. So a nurse practitioner is a um, advanced level degree nurse. Um, usually the entry level is a master's degree, in mm -hmm. some cases even a doctorate degree. And nurse practitioners are able to diagnose and prescribe and see patients from acute conditions to chronic conditions, from the common cold to diabetes and kidney disease. We're able to diagnose, prescribe, order imaging tests and, and see those and procedures, et cetera. So mm -hmm. um, we really are taking on the role of a provider mm -hmm. um, and we have a unique um, philosophical approach because we're first and foremost nurses so we really take on the holistic patient care so we look at the physical social um, and um, psychological aspects into the patient care team and some might argue that your bedside manner is a little bit better than other well, practitioners. Well, of course I'm biased, <laughs> but yes, you know, I think nurses really take on the role as the patient's voice and advocate, and mm -hmm. we really take that to heart as a nurse practitioner as well. So when you come to see a nurse practitioner, we really want to know how you're doing as a person, mm -hmm. not just your wrist that's hurting or maybe your gynecologic issue that's going on. We want to know how you are as a person. Yeah. Yeah, um, and you might be invaluable, nurse practitioners, especially in uh, rural areas where you can't get doctors to say, I'm not taking a pay cut or going out to this rural area to really mm -hmm. help. It's the nurse practitioners who are moving in those areas and get, providing the care. That's right, that's right. And a lot of times that's the only provider that you can see there. And they're really, the research is showing that they're providing really great care. What is it, what, to, to become a nurse practitioner, what do you, is it like training as a doctor would? Do you have to, to go through the same amount of education and that it, it's, it's similar. So a nurse practitioner in most cases um, must be a nurse first. So you have to have an RN, a registered nurse uh, license, you get a bachelor's degree. And then in most cases you have to practice at least two or three years in critical care as a nurse before you can be admitted into a master's program. Mm -hmm. The nurse practitioner uh, education is a, typically a master's program and, and it's shifting now into a doctorate degree. Um, but yes, there, there is some similar overlap in didactic courses and then also um, being in the clinical setting to get that exposure. Okay, full disclosure, my husband is a highly trained nurse too. Oh, really? And he's very biased with you guys as well yeah. too. He's, he That's says awesome. you guys are the wave of the future. Well, <laughs> so Amy, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. All right, we're back.